In February 2022, Netflix announced that Stranger Things was greenlit for a fifth season. But when is it coming out? Fans are eager to know every little detail. But we gotta tell you that it's going to be a long wait because we won't get Stranger Things Season 5 sooner than the summer of 2024. Keep watching to the end of this video to find out every detail. Let's get started. Release date. Everyone's favorite TV series will start filming the upcoming season next spring in May, which means we will most likely be able to enjoy the final season in 2024. In his recent interview, one of the show's stars, David Harbour, confirmed that the plan was to start filming in 2023. I think we'll shoot next year. They're finishing writing it this year and they need to prep and stuff. So hopefully it'll be this year. But I think that's the plan. So it'd probably come out mid 2024 based on our track record, he said. Seasons two and three were almost two years apart and that was before the COVID pandemic disrupted things. So we know the Duffer brothers aren't afraid to test our patience. As this is the final season though, they're probably going to want to go big too, meaning that season five could possibly take even longer. However, the Duffer brothers did note that there will likely be a much shorter wait between season four, volume two and season five. The gap should be quite a bit shorter this time due to the fact that we already have an initial outline and we can't imagine there will be another six month forced hiatus. During the six-month pandemic hiatus, we outlined season five and pitched it to Netflix. Everyone there had also been present when we first pitched the show in 2015. While we were strangers then, we're now friends and there were a lot of tears when it was over. It's just been an extraordinary journey for all of us and while it's hard to believe that we're approaching the end, we feel incredibly lucky to have such amazing partners, they said. It's the last season. As they say, all good things must come to an end and the hit Netflix show Next Chapter is set to be its last. The Duffer Brothers wrote in a blog that it was their decision from the start to have the Hawkins story arc run from four to five seasons. However, they hinted that spin-offs may be possible in the future. There's still many more exciting stories to tell within the world of Stranger Things. New mysteries, new adventures, new unexpected heroes. But first, we hope that you stay with us as we finish this tale of a powerful girl named Eleven and her brave friends, of a broken police chief and a ferocious mom, of a small town called Hawkins and an alternate dimension known only as the Upside Down. We haven't told anyone the idea yet, much less written it. We think everyone, including Netflix, will be surprised when they hear the concept because it's very, very different. Somehow, Finn Wolfhard, who is one crazy smart kid, correctly guess what it's going to be about. But aside from Finn, no one else knows, the Duffers wrote. On the Happy, Sad, Confused podcast, they said, characters are already going to be in action. They're already going to have a goal and a drive. And they think that's going to carve out at least a couple of hours and make this season feel really different. I'm sure the wrap up will be a lot longer. It's going to be the return of the Kingish with like eight endings. Millie Bobby Brown opened up about her feelings surrounding the end of the show. Brown emerged as one of the sci-fi series' breakout stars due to her impressive performance as the superpowered Tween Eleven. The character has since become a staple member of the Hawkins Kids gang, often driving the plot of subsequent seasons or becoming the solution to the town's supernatural threats. In the latest season of Stranger Things, the series dug deeper into Eleven's past as she sought to get her powers back revealing her connection to the season's terrifying villain, Vecna. During an appearance on Good Morning America, Brown discussed the upcoming final season of Stranger Things. The star acknowledged that while the series has been a huge part of her life, her experience hasn't come to a close yet, potentially teasing that a return could be in order. It's gonna be hard, of course. It's like my high school. I grew up on the show. They're like school friends. You know, it's gonna be hard but I'm never gonna not see them again. And I'm sure Netflix will make it last for as long as it can. And it is just so much a part of my career and so formative. And I'll always remember my experience with Stranger Things, she said. And despite all the dark plots that fans have thought of over these couple of months, Brown has something entirely different in her mind. When she was asked about season five, she responded that if given a chance, she would make an ending similar to the one of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. Apart from this idea, she also mentioned the possibility of Eleven sacrificing herself to save others. This seems like the only honorable way for her to say goodbye, she said. When asked if she wants Mike and Eleven to find happiness together, she replied, I say things like this, but then I also said I want her to die. I really don't know. 
And also, it's not my choice. I say all these things really just under my breath, and then people take them and print them. And I'm like, no, no, no. I said that as a joke, that I wanted her to get married and work at a Target. That was a joke, but maybe it's not a joke. And one thing is for sure, the entire Stranger Things fandom is rooting for Eleven. In order to save her friends and family, especially Max, she needs to gain full control of her powers. What's the plot? The exact season five plot is totally unclear, but the Duffer brothers have offered up some clues as to what to expect. We know what the ending is. It's conceivable that it changes, but I think it's unlikely because it's one of those endings that just feels and has always felt right. It also feels sort of inevitable. Then when you came up with it, you're like, oh yeah, well, that is absolutely what it has to be. Season four concluded with every group in Nevada, Indiana, and Russia respectively somewhat unknowingly teaming up to take down Vecna. While Max baits his mind at the Creel house, Robin, Steve, and Nancy set fire to his defenseless physical form in the Upside Down. Simultaneously, Mike and Will dunk Eleven in a makeshift sensory deprivation tank and her consciousness finds its way to Max to assist her in facing off against the Big Bad. But as Will states towards the end of Episode 9, Vecna is far from defeated. The showrunners revealed that Will is going to be the primary focus of the final season as the final episodes circle back to season one. Matt explained, We're starting to see his coming of age, which has been challenging for a number of reasons, some of which are supernatural, but you're starting to see him come into his own. Ross added, I think you'll see that with a couple of the character arcs, not just with Will, but also with Steve and Nancy and her relationship with Jonathan where things are not fully resolved. The characters have maybe made steps, like in the case of Will, but that journey isn't over yet. All of that is going to play a huge role as we try to wrap this thing up next season. Our favorite cast is returning. It's highly unlikely that any of the main cast members are going to split before Stranger Things wraps itself up for good, so it's expected that they're all set to return for season five. That means Millie Bobby Brown will be back as Eleven, Finn Wolfhard will reprise his role as Mike Wheeler, and Sadie Sink will be seen again as Max Mayfield. Other actors almost certainly geared up to show their faces again include Caleb McCollin as Lucas and Claire, Noah Schnapp as Will Byers, Gaetan Matarazzo as Dustin Henderson, Maya Hawk as Robin Buckley, Joe Curie as Steve Harrington, Natalie Dyer as Nancy Wheeler, Charlie Heaton as Jonathan Byers, Brett Gelman as Murray Bauman, David Harbour as Jim Hopper, and of course, Winona Ryder is Joyce Byers. What do you think about Stranger Things Season 5? Isn't it too hard to wait for 2024? What are your theories? Let us know in the comments below. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.